Is it weird if I have a beer on stage? Yeah. No. no. No, not at all. Is it not weird if someone brings me a beer on stage? Yeah. No, I'm sure they can make that happen. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know where the rest of them are. Hello. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you. I love you too. Where is my other half, Ian Smolderpants? We we announced him, but he's not here yet. Where is he? And yeah. Where's the rest? I love you. He's a bright Thank you. Sarah Canning. Just missing three. That's, uh, that's all we got at the moment. I love you too. Oh, it's so nice. I love you so much. Thank you. Sorry, I thought you guys were all together. Have you guys been having fun today? Yes. Awesome. All right, we almost we are, we are just waiting on three people, but. Wait, the doors in between? Lip gloss on. Is that the doors? Oh, here we go. Kelly, you exactly right. Sorry, we're late. By the way, I feel like Ian's trying to be dramatic. He's gonna like come in from the ceiling. You know, I'm Ian Summerholder. Where is he? Where is he? Is he like on a separate golf cart? An Probably. ISF golf cart? Just Did you, you guys just left Electric it? golf cart. Electric. It's an all electric golf cart. That, uh, well, last time I saw him, he was breaks stunned down by the police. <laughs> So it's a little daunting to look down here with everybody here. But Julie, what is it like having everybody here? I feel like that has to go to you first. Oh, do we get our mic working? I love it. I love it. There we go. There we go. It's it's a, it's a very emotional. I, I almost cried earlier today, um, just because you know we've we've all seen each other individually. These guys, a lot of them have seen each other in small groups over the years, but like. I mean, nightmares. when's the last time we were all in a room together? The finale? In the finale, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, that's a while. And it's just it's just so nice to see everybody here and so nice to be here in Covington and Mystic Falls. It's also, Julie, the easiest rewrite you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> True. When's the last time that you guys were all together like this? The finale. The finale. The finale. Wow. So that's been a bit. It was bit. Paul's best performance. <laughs> yeah, because I was so happy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wasn't. I was sad. I was sad. <laughs> Bullshit. <coughs> Do you guys mind going down the line and just telling us what it's like to be here after all this time and to still have such a fan group and a fan base that supports you guys so much? To me, it's great. It's great. It's uh, we used to have our base camp right here, so we'd all park 
right over here. We'd be transported to the square, so it's nice to be back. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, shit, you're right. Legion yeah. Over there. We used to yeah. park over there. Yeah. We used to park right oh, there. Oh, yeah. He's been yeah. here all oh, day. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 You're it's true. He's been yeah, here all day. I just realized, realized that we used to park here. Oh, my God. We used to eat that. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. We've been here all day. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Torino. Oh, yeah, no, I think, yeah. I just I mean, echo, Torino, your echo house is right down the road. Yeah, right? the, the Lockwood Mansion, right? It's somewhere oh, back it's there. Right. And I think, uh, I haven't been to the square yet, but I think, like, I haven't, I haven't been to Atlanta since we wrapped. I mean, I think I maybe had a couple of events where I was just here for, like, 24 hours, maybe. But it's been that long. And so, I mean, just being in the city, but then even driving out here, you know, doing that drive for work to come out here when we shot in Covington. Uh, I think once I hit the square, Things will settle in for me. A bit. Tears. It's been nice. Tears, tears are going to very tears. Tears falling down the face. Yeah, I still haven't been to the actual Mystic Grill restaurant, which was, I think, a lawyer what? office before, if yeah, I'm not like mistaken. And that used to be a green room, and we'd really only use that. There's like a alleyway where I feel like there were always like murder or makeout scenes. Like Stab Alley. Alley. That's what we call it yeah. in scripts. <laughs> Stab Alley. Um, or, yeah, or both at the same time. Um, but so I'm very excited to go check out the, the Mystic Grill. It, it's just wild to have been a part of something that has um, just been so cemented in this town where we would just come and film. And then now people come and visit this small town. And, it, and to be a part of that is a wild, beautiful experience. Yeah, no, uh, <clears throat> I uh, I was a little nervous to come here actually, but I feel really good. And you know, a lot of times, like you work on a show for eight years, and I was like, well, it's been off the air for so long. Are people gonna forget it? Yeah. And it's just so cool. Yeah, you guys love it, and it's like you know, there's all these amazing like tours and in Mystic Falls, like Covington tours. I'm hearing about all this stuff, and you know, it's just great to know that like eight years of work uh, is still kind of you know living on uh, in people's lives. So it's great. Not kind of. All right, relax, very Come much. On. Relax, Ian, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I mean, thank you all for being here. This is incredible. I was sitting today and just sort of like listening, listening to my friends, just watching it and like time folded in on itself and that's really wild and to meet all of you and um, I love you. Found out Aunt Jenna's grave is now a trash can. <laughs> What? Yes, there's a trash can where oh, Aunt Jenna was buried. So I'm going to go over there and have a moment of silence. You were buried in a trash can? can? Yeah. <laughs> Why were you buried in a trash can? I don't know. Someone, I, someone like tried to explain show? it. Yeah. There's, not, no, that's not canon, I don't think. There's <laughs> there's apparently like the, a trash can got moved. There was a headstone, and now the trash can is back again. Oh, I thought your ashes oh. were like in a trash well, can. Well... <laughs> We'll just say it's a giant urn, and I'll go visit it, and thank you for letting me know. <laughs> oh, I just got sad thinking about Aunt Jenna, like, yeah. that yeah. scene. In a trash can? Yeah, no, not a trash can, can, but... we all go to the trash can later? Let's just go right now. Let's go, remember, everybody. Remember Hashtag we meet you at the Klaus? trash can. Remember when Klaus was terrible and everyone hated him? And Always. He He's the worst. <laughs> feels like it's a high school reunion, but I was thinking about it and it genuinely feels like it's a family reunion because that's what everyone feels like is family. It's true, very true. <laughs> like a like a like a degenerate family. <laughs> yeah, um I still live in Atlanta. So. Yeah, here's a good one. It's kind of it's like I know back off that. here, but I don't really come out here that often. I feel like that'd be kind of weird, but I I want to sometimes. Like I want to go see everything and hear about these tours and stuff that Paul was talking about. But yeah, being here in this field right now with you guys and seeing the structures that were built and that maybe like something that wasn't was now created for the town and we kind of left some sort of legacy. Um, Super cool. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Was there a pun there? Anyway, I'm just, I'm really stoked. This is, I'm really excited. I was jumping around like a little kid. A lot of memories coming about, but most of all, it just reminds me of, uh, I'm gonna be cheesy, but the possibilities that, that await, you know, in life. So I just wanna thank you guys for coming out. I look forward to the weekend. 
I echo every single thing everyone said. It is so beyond unique, special, to be here with this group of people. You know, it used to be all of these trailers here and all those warm Georgia evenings or freezing cold mornings that we'd show up here, morning, noon, and night, the support of this town, the support of this county, the support of this state, and this crew who ultimately became family. The fact that you guys are still here reliving this, finding new means of connection, you know, experiencing and having fun with old ones, is really special. So thank you for welcoming us. Thank you for being here for us. And thank you absolutely for sharing all these freaking memories for so long. Thank you. The crowd today. There's a lot of them. A lot of them are off the record. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of them are off the record. Although that, I will say that alley that Candace was referring to, that was either like murder alley or make out alley. Yeah. There's a lot of both. But I remember being in that alley, literally whether it was like ripping a heart out in the freezing cold with all the blood. Remember the blood would like freeze? So Joe Props had to put it in a in an igloo cooler with a freaking with warm heaters in there to keep it literally so you could do the blood, you know? And you didn't hear Paul like, alright! Do the blind. Let's go. Let's go. And it's like, like a nine-year-old Jewish man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Remember Gilbert? Remember Gilbert Godfrey? Oh, that's me. Yeah, yeah that's good too. But like all those little tiny like granular moments, all led to you know that stuff ended up on screen and it was digital and it was global. We experienced them all right there. And even Julie, remember like even going as far back. There's that uh, photo of you and I working on the script with Marcos, in like episode two of season one. I mean, by the, mind you, that was in 2009, guys. It was a long time ago. I remember being in that square with all the lanterns and waiting for the comet and shit. Yes. All of those people, that was in 2009. And I remember it as if it was yesterday. And I remember you two up on the roof with Vicky, with Kayla. Yeah, with Vicky. And that second episode where it was, you know, where you guys were wired to the edge of the roof, we could look out over the entire square. It was just incredible. You're just doing this scene, one of the first real brother scenes. Really, yeah. Um, of the season. And, uh, and then you had to walk down a ladder and then 30 very small steps if you had to pee. It was terrifying. Which Paul has to pee every nine minutes. And so... Is he really peeing or... So do I. Checking his hair. Checking my hair. Checking your hair. But it is really special to have those moments. And by the way, a lot of people experience those moments with us. They saw them on screen, and it's um, it's really special. So. Do you remember you. when they picked Covington as the location? Like, what was that moment? I was trying to remember it. And, you know, all my memories get messed up with things I think happened or maybe could have written that happened that way or actually did happen. So It's the mushrooms. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> for sure. Um, so when I tell stories, I'm like, is that true? But I do think, <laughs> I do think that I was the one that came here, because I don't think Kevin came, uh, I came at the beginning of the prep when we were trying to figure out where to shoot and we are going through all these little towns and this one when we entered, it was the combination of the clock tower and the square. It just was so quintessential small town, small, like it just felt like what Norman Rockwell, me. like, yeah, yeah. Like, and I maybe wasn't here and made that up, but like I actually th have a vague memory of being in that van doing that. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, it could be true, it could not be true. But it That's makes basically like everything you say. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so, some favorite memories, talking about that fake blood. I was getting killed frequently on the shows. You know? <laughs> and how I come back to life a lot of times is one of these guys would take a bite out of their wrist and shove it in my mouth. And I'd be on that ground like, hey, we're off camera, bro. Oh yeah, just <laughs> sucking down blood. <laughs> sucking these guys' wrists. Yeah, those were, those were great moments. <laughs> There's a lot more. I enjoyed sucking the wrists. Hey, actually, People always say, what is your favorite episode? My favorite episode is season is episode five of season one where Kayla, I mean, uh, where Vicky and Damon are sucking each other's wrists and like partying. 
That's what That's I said. when you were dancing in the rafters? Hell yeah. That was my favorite episode of the show. So don't, don't, you know, don't shame on the wrist sucking. You know? Oh, I'm not. Don't you worry. <laughs> Where do we go from there? <laughs> well, well, good night. I'm trying to come up with a moment because that is my favorite moment. So I'll let you go. Wait, start. another favorite moment. This is uh, earlier. So let's say, turn. Oh. It was a family thing, like the show was together so long, literally, we're out in the woods, it's freezing cold, one of our, uh, a dolly grip that eventually became an A-camera operator, that's how long we were all together and like, grew. Who? At like three in the morning, Who? Yeah. he goes prince, er, like, running out of the woods, she's having the baby! Oh, it's his sixth baby, he's like, let her! And we're all there for it. We're like, yeah, yeah bro, we're good luck! Wait, Who? Pierre. Pierre. Oh, Pierre, yeah. It was the best, man. Like, that's Just what we to be did. clear, she wasn't having the baby in the woods. She was no. having the baby yeah. in the hospital. No, in the hospital. Oh, no, no. In the hospital. Hey, Ian, do you remember when I <clears throat> was so, so cold? It was like 20 degrees outside. No, it was 14 degrees. degrees. Or whatever, 14. And I was like, oh my God, a heater. And then I like ran to the heater and I, and I, and I like put my face by the heater to warm it up. And then I burned my entire face no. off. No, literally, I'm not kidding. The whole thing that- No, like, it burned the- you know, It cost the like whole, a million dollars in VFX or the something. The whole like, dermal layer of his face, he burned off. So of course it's- I was like, so how do I look? Is it bad? Is it bad, guys? You ever see Tom Cruise in Vanilla Sky? Remember that mask? And Julie, they had to paint every step. That's why my skin looks so good right now. Yeah. This is one of those. Did it happen or is it? No, that happened. It happened. It happened. happened. I was there. Wait, it cost a lot of money in post production. I don't know how you don't remember. It was like serious, serious. She blocked it out, Paul. I think mine is when you all like showed up as, uh, well, a lot of you, not Matt, we, we brought Matt on after, but like when you all showed up as, as kids in Vancouver, because I was living in Vancouver and everybody showed up to do the pilot and I thought, that was fun to meet those people, like <laughs> have a good trip back to LA, that was really fun, what just happened? And then ended up moving down here and spending the time that we, like I still can't really believe it. You know, I, I, it happened so quickly and so magically. And, and then, you know, when the show premiered and it was like, this many million people watch the show. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's a hit. What? Yeah. So I think that's, I know that's not a scene. Stephen but, McQueen. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about I that. I know, I was just thinking about Stephen too. I haven't done I haven't communicated <laughs> with him. What Hi, Stephen. <laughs> Love you. In the town square right he's now, just wandering. He never left. He's in. He's in. <laughs> he's he at scoops. Steven. I'm sure he's doing all right. He, he's he, in. Was, he was invited. He wasn't able to make it this time. Unfortunately, he's doing. He's in my hotel room, guys. It's cool. <laughs> it's all good. I am like in my head right now, going down the line, reliving every like sort of pilot signature moment I had with each of you. Oh and it's oh. it's blowing my mind. Can I do it quickly? I don't yeah. want to yeah, do, do the it. Run but down. Matt, your signature moment. You were not on the pilot, but of course we've talked about this. Is me giving you a hundred dollars at the blackjack table in Vegas for Nina's twenty first birthday. Um, that was that was our this <laughs> beginning of a very long, you, <laughs> very oh, long friendship. Yeah. Um, but uh, Trevino, it was, and I've told this story of him like on my flight with Kevin and being like walking by us as he gets on the plane with the Vampire Diaries book under his hand. <laughs> like a kiss ass brown nose, like totally. And I was like, oh hey, I didn't know you guys were on this flight. Yeah. Hey, weird. Read two pages. Yeah. Anyway, I'm on page 300. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Don't worry about it. And conversely, it's, well, Zach, the, the real one I can't tell, but the first one is uh, also on that same flight that we've like sent out a whole memo, like you're not allowed to do anything dangerous, you're not allowed to yeah. like, Fuck. and he pulls his ski, his snowboard stuff. Yeah, Zach's got his snowboard bag. <laughs> like, who is this unprofessional guy here? We, 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 we got a job to do. And, and Candace, it was, I mean, this is a little more sweet, but you know, it was one of Candace's first jobs. And so, an, an acting job, she'd been a musician and a singer and so, there was this sense of like, you're casting a person who may not have ever really done this before. And then we got to the Mystic Grill, which is one of the early locations, the Vancouver Mystic Grill. And she did the whole, why does nobody ever pick me scene? And we were all just sitting there like, oh, this is good. She's so good. Like, thank God. <laughs> it's 
gone so Thank bad. God I had all that practice in middle school and high school. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. Thank prepared. God yeah. Disney Mickey Mouse Club hooked you up, girl. <laughs> and Paul, it was we were shooting after your first day, and you had you had a whole thing, and you you weren't happy with it, which I should have known was like a harbinger of things to come. But you're like, you're like I don't. I don't, I don't feel like I really got there. I, didn't, I don't feel like I really got there. I'm like, well, you got there in parts of it. He's like, ah, oh, he seems so disappointed. And I'm like, but Paul, like, it's okay because, you know, there's this thing called editing where we can actually take one piece of one take and take it. And he goes, oh, okay, thanks. And I thought, does this guy know nothing about television? <laughs> And it took me like 10 years to play that memory back in my head and be like, he's been working since he was 14. Of course he knows what editing is, you dumbass. You just totally like patronize him. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's talking about. I do it all I the time. I remember that. Yeah, because you're like, you had more experience than I did. And what the hell was I talking about? So I do remember that. I'm so I, sorry. I, 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 I remember that now. I had <laughs> forgotten about that moment. Yeah, was I, so it was my first like scene that I did? Yeah, it was that first Maybe day out in the Maybe I just felt the, the pressure, cemetery. like I wanted everything to be perfect. Yeah, you did, you know, you were very committed. You were very Whatever. committed. I, I did a great job. <laughs> you did a great job. You did great. Thank God for editing. Define, <laughs> define great. And Sarah, Sarah, we met, um, you read Aunt Jenna in Vancouver when I was up doing preliminary casting. And you did your tape, and, uh, and I was so glamored, and I went home to LA, and I told everybody, like, we have Aunt Jenna, and even better, she's a local, so <laughs> so we can afford her. <laughs> but like, you were just so perfect. You just were so perfect, and that was a, a thrill. Like when you see a person walk in a casting room, and it just like, there's no question, that was you above everyone. I mean, you're all perfect. Too. That's awesome. And Kayla, of course, we talked a lot about how she is the social chair of the pilot and, like, had, you know, always kind of had everybody hanging out and together. She and Candace, like, really rallied the, the, the team. But Kayla's the one who brought all the Twilight people to come hang out in our rooms because they were shooting in the hotel at the same time. And so we got to, like, sit in a hotel room in Vancouver chilling with, like, half the cast of Twilight. Yeah, well, wait, no, it was, wait, was Nikki there? Yeah, yeah, it was Nikki. So Twilight was shooting... Uh, Percy Jackson was shooting, and Vampire Diaries were shooting, and we were all staying in the same hotel. Yes. Didn't and Stephen McQueen find Robert Pattinson's ID? Or yeah. Something? Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And found like his at wallet. a bar? Oh, he found his wallet. Yeah. He might have stolen like, it. Who knows? And he like returned it to the concierge or some shit? Yeah. Another thing that happened is that we all went to Whistler together and Steven left with a phone charger <laughs> and a toothbrush. toothbrush. And that's, that's all right. he took to Whistler for an overnight trip. We all have suitcases and he rocked. walks out with just his phone charger around his neck and his toothbrush. He's like, I'm ready. We're like, oh. well, by the way, to Whistler, to ski. In no, we didn't, we didn't ski. ski. That was after we Pastel Pussy we Kabosh. Oh, okay. So it was an uh -huh. overnight trip. So all those pictures so, of Nina Zach. and Zach. And Nina Dobrev. Zach and the number one on the call sheet went. Yeah. 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 And then Ian, first night, we were shooting out in the middle of nowhere. It's cold. We're outside his trailer. He's already shown me his like closet full of, um, of vitamins and, <laughs> and herbal remedies in his trailer. It's just like these big, like... 84 ounce containers of all his health stuff and we're standing outside his trailer and I'm talking to him and I'm staring at him like this is for you this guy is so good looking that I don't know where to look <laughs> because if I look at him in his eyes no, if I look at him in his eyes he has that weird glamour thing like he just like you're like hi and so but I'm like the boss and I'm professional so I'm like I'm not gonna look at him in his eyes because I can't do that but if I look at his like lips, that's weird. <laughs> and I don't know how to talk to him, so I just need to go away because this is freaking me out. And then we ate some protein powder and we get, we hugged it out, and then they thought about how to fire me. Wait, you missed Zach. Well, I know. Oh, the, 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 Zach, the I'll let Zach. Zach story. knows what he did. Zach can tell his story. Yeah. The the the. <laughs> Ian knows what Zach did. I was. It, Zach and I, we were, Zach, Julie, and myself were the last three musketeers left after shooting this pilot. We don't need to talk about it publicly, but it was amazing. It was late night. I you to know, Zach. That sounds, that sounds really bad. Oh, got it. Well, how do you think we got this job? I was gonna say, I never really died. 
No, it was really, those are really special freaking moments. I actually and, met Julie Pleck in Vancouver at the Sutton Place true. shooting a pilot of her friends. She was doing Kyle XY and our hotel rooms were across. We were right across and so we bonded yeah. in the hallway Aww. several years prior, many times over. And when he came in to audition for Matt Donovan, or no, you were auditioning probably for Tyler at the yeah. time. You, you, you walked in and you were like, hey! <laughs> and I was just so happy that you remembered me because we had literally lived across from each other for a month. She got to see young me. <laughs> he was always amazing, having parties. What amazing memories. Guys, I do have to say, I do remember walking into, I don't remember whose room it was, but it was literally the cast of Twilight, the cast of Percy Jackson, and the cast of what would become Vampire Diaries. It was my room. It, it was, was your room? It was my room. room. In a hotel room in Vancouver. Naked. Sitting with... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sitting with Logan and Jake. Yes, who were like, Logan was like 15, 16 Think about years that. old. Brandon Jackson. Brandon, Brandon yeah. T. Jackson. That's a lot. You gotta say the T. Brandon T. T. Jackson. Man, that was just like, think about the amount of like pop culture uh, commercialization of story and that. But like huge. It was Wow, it's wild. It's a shame we're not all so close. <laughs> Usually so, taking a photo with the crowd at the end. Um, for this one, we wouldn't have everyone come up, but maybe you could stay where you were, just stand up, and we'll turn that way, and then we, we've got dinner. With, Julie, you can start with Her Majesty. Well, I've talked enough, I'm sorry, I thought we were going on longer. I love this, I love this energy, I love the passion, the fans.